Hello, everyone, and welcome to MSK Unknown Case Series, Case 62. Here we have a great case. We have an axial T2 fat sat image through the knee and then a coronal T2 fat sat image through the knee showing some findings. And the question that I have for you guys is what structure or structures are injured? Is this an ACL injury, PCL, medial retinaculum, medial collateral ligament, medial meniscus, A and D, A and E, or B and E. I know there's a lot of choices here, but I want to really make sure that everyone knows what this is because this is a very, very high yield topic. So what we have here is, and I want to come back to the initial image, we have bone marrow edema along both the medial and the lateral femoral condyle, right? So that's the major finding here. These are microtubecular contusions involving both the medial uh, femoral condyle and then the lateral femoral condyle, as you see here. Now, the important thing to remember in the knee is, is that the knee marrow edema patterns predict the soft tissue structures that are injured. So you should immediately recognize that this is a clip injury. And then, of course, the ACL and the medial collateral ligament are going to be torn or injured. So the best answer here is F, the ACL and the medial collateral ligament, right? And I can show you, well, these are nice examples of what this bone marrow edema is the microtubecular contusions that we see in the bone. And these pretty much are microtubecular fractures or microtubecular injuries without a discrete fracture line. That's essentially what we're seeing here. These happen typically from trauma. These are post-traumatic injuries. And if we take a look at some of the other images, we can notice that here, there's a partial tear here of the medial collateral ligament. This structure here that runs medially five to seven centimeters above the joint to five to seven centimeters below the joint should be nice curvy linear and dark, it should be black, but we have this fluid signal or this bright signal that's partially disrupting the fibers. So this is a high grade partial tear of the medial collateral ligament. And then if we take a look here, this is the ACL here, right? The ACL, again, the anterior cruciate ligament runs from the lateral femoral condyle to the medial tibial spine. And it has an uh, anterior medial and posterior lateral bundle. We have this fluid signal that's running in the mid substance fiber, suggesting at least a high grade partial tear of the anterior cruciate ligament. So this is a nice example of how you have the clip injury with an associated MCL and ACL tear. Now, there are multiple knee injuries that occur in the knee. And the important thing again is, is that the bone marrow edema, the bone marrow uh, problems predict the soft tissue structure that's injured. So even though initially I didn't show you the ACL or the MCL, you should automatically know that the ACL and the MCL will be injured in a clip injury when you have a marrow edema along the medial and lateral femoral condyle. That's a clip injury. Contrast that to a pivot shift injury, which is very common in skiing, American football injuries, where you get marrow edema along the anterior lateral femoral condyle and the posterior lateral tibial plateau. That's always associated with an ACL, just an isolated ACL injury, okay? Very high yield for the radiology core exam. Also very high yield is a patellar dislocation relocation where you get marrow edema along the lateral femoral condyle, but instead of the posterior lateral tibial plateau, you get it along the inferior medial patella. And that uh, soft tissue structure that's injured is a medial retinaculum. The medial retinaculum will always be injured in a patellar dislocation relocation. In a hyperextension injury, you typically get marrow edema anteriorly, both at the anterior femoral condyle and the anterior tibial plateau. And, and in this setting, the ACL and the PCL are injured. And then finally, we have a dashboard injury where you just get isolated bone marrow edema along the anterior proximal tibia, and then isolated PCL is injured. So you can see that depending on the five different bone marrow edema patterns, the soft tissue structure that's injured is different for all five cases, right? So very important to remember, you know, what the type of knee injury is, what bone marrow edema pattern we're seeing, and then of course, what associated soft tissue structure is injured. This will be very helpful when you read knee MRIs, and these are very testable test questions. Thank you so much for your attention. Please subscribe to our MedED page and support our mission in sharing free knowledge. And we'll see you again next week for another MSK Unknown Case.